Hi Taurus, welcome to your spirit guide messages for the month of December. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus, this is what spirit wants you to know for December. I am labeling it as December, but I feel all my readings are timeless. So this is for whenever you see it. So if you'd like to go back and watch um, past readings on my channel, you're more than welcome to. Um, Taurus time, Taurus... <laughs> playlist our list will be below in the description box so if you'd like to check that out so let's see what spirit wants you to know at this time Taurus we're going to pull three oracle cards from each deck and then I'll clarify each one with a tarot card to give a little more meaning into the message so we'll see what spirit wants you to know at this time Taurus what does spirit want you to know at this time what are the important messages for you at this time thank you so much spirit what are the spirit messages for taurus spirit <laughs> oh, sounds silly all right taurus 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 spirit messages for taurus three messages for taurus spirit please thank you so much way too many but i think we'll take these two I need one more, one more. All right, let's see. Decks are listed below, um, if I didn't mention that. So if you're interested in what decks I am using, they are also listed uh, in the description box. Tons of stuff down there in the description box. So how to reach out for personal reading, social media, decks I'm using. If you'd like to support the channel, my PayPal's down there, my social media. I do post uh, different readings on Instagram also. I do pick a card readings on Instagram. Hmm, okay, I guess we'll take that one. So let's see what we have for you, Taurus, from the Earth Magic. Wow, full moon completion. I just got that for, I think it was Virgo. Something coming to a completion. Dream time creation. So it's time to create your dreams into reality whatever you've been dreaming on and maybe you have been creating something into reality and now that's coming to a completion now where you're fully um, having your dreams come into reality. And we have Gaia here, nurturing. So let's, I just want to read a little bit about Gaia. Let's see. Receiving can be a sacred act if your intention is to honor spirit. It is, it is as holy as giving when performed with a humble and open heart. This is even true when receiving much needed nurturing. So let others give to you. Maybe a stretch to do so at times because of childhood conditioning, but that habit can be overcome. Your wounds can be healed. One way to achieve this is to nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. Consider the actions you take that are self-nurturing. What comes to your mind when you really think about doing beneficial things for yourself? Set aside your ritualized habits and, be and beliefs that restrict the pure act of allowing your body, heart, and soul to be nurtured. Lie on the earth and ask Gaia to rock you in her bosom as you breathe with her and relax into her loving care. So all about letting, letting people nurture and care for you, um, you know, express how they feel about you, um, that kind of energy and also going out in nature and feeling one with nature, being grounded and that kind of energy. But uh, also with dream time here, creation, I mean, when you, that's about like dream, like dreams becoming reality, creating your dreams into reality. So, I mean, there could be different messages here, but it's also something coming to completion. So like I said, maybe you have been in the process to making your dreams become reality. Whatever you're creating is now coming to completion. Maybe you've been working hard, you're very busy, you're tired. It's okay to reach out, ask for help, let people help you, nurture you um, in some way, if that makes sense for you. Or if, you know, you're not an overly affectionate person, maybe, you know, it's time to start being more affectionate, caring, nurturing, giving, all that kind of energy. 
So we have here protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. So this is about protecting yourself, cutting things out that may be toxic to you, that are no longer serving you, um, taking your power, standing up for yourself, being who you truly are. Okay. Then we have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. So something here, if you've been wondering about something, um, and you haven't given an answer yet, spirits, like maybe you should just pause or think about it a little bit longer, postpone, wait, or it could be just a simple no. And that comes here with the soul retrieval, cutting the cords, call back your power. Maybe some of you just give, give, give to others. And it's time now to stand up and say no. Let them nurture you now. If you've been nurturing everybody else, now is the time to let them nurture you for a change. So we have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So whatever you're doing here, I feel like whatever you're dreaming or creating into reality, is you're doing it, you're on the right path. Stop. And if you've been overthinking a lot, uh, just know you're going on the right path. You're following your true north. Just to keep going. And it's almost there. You're almost there. You're almost at the completion where these dreams will become reality. You're almost there. So let's see. We have intuitive nudges. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. So, but listen to your gut, your intuition your higher knowing, you know, if I need to say no, if you feel like you need to see no, say no, or you feel like something's not right, or you ha don't have a good feeling about something, or you do have a good feeling about something, it's really trusting that gut feeling that you get about something, really trusting that. Just to ask, there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. So again, so this is a very spiritual energy here of, you know, like being really divinely connecting or needing to really, you know, pay attention to signs, symbols, um, things going on around you. I feel like divine source here may be trying to really connect with you really trying to get you to listen and pay attention to your intuition, your inner knowing, and that kind of energy. And it's okay to say out loud, you know, I need help. I know this doesn't feel right. You know, what should I do? Or show me a sign. And then all of a sudden you may see something and know it's the, the sign you were looking for, you know, and just know that's their way of telling you, yes, trust your intuition, your higher knowing on things. So we have here, breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. So, you know, just, I feel like some of you may need to meditate. <laughs> just kind of... Find, you know, a calm, peaceful place to just sit, relax, to really think about things, take a breather, you know, just take time out and just really listen to your inner knowing and really ask for divine guidance if you need it and pay attention to that because you're getting heavy messages of that there. And they want you to know you're already, whatever you're doing here, you're on the right path. If you need to say, I feel like you need to say no and cut cords with things no longer serving you or finally stand up to people telling no. If you've always said yes <clears throat> and nurturing everybody else, giving, giving to everybody else, it's time to let people nurture you and take time to nurture yourself. All right, so we've got different messages here. So I guess take how they resonate for you. Not every single message will be for every person. So... Um, you know, if they resonate for you in a different way than I described, then please take them, you know, however um, it reads for you or resonates for you. So, Taurus, we're going to get some uh, tarot on this. So, I do ask tarot, uh, tarot, <laughs> Taurus, 
Oh my god. If you do like my style and my energy, if you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post a new reading so you don't miss out. I do all kind of readings for every sign, every month, they're all different. So um, that'd be truly appreciated. And um, again, you can check the description box, a lot of stuff down there. Thank you to everybody who's reached out for a personal reading or donated or whatever, supported the channel, however you've done it. I truly, truly do appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you guys. All right, so, and I love doing this for you guys. So let's see, we have overall energy on the bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups. So this is, you know, loving communication. This is apologies. This is that peaceful, compassionate, uh, affectionate energy, communication. So I feel like you need to get more in this energy of, you know, like the Page of Cups, like being, and maybe you are that caring, nurturing, giving, affectionate person, but I think it's time to give that now to yourself and let, let people give it to you rather than you giving it to everybody else all the time. It's kind of like the energy I'm getting with that. Or if, you know, you're not an overly affectionate person, you know, it's time to kind of lighten up, maybe be in that more, um, and the page is like a youthful energy also. All right, so let's see what this completion is about. The Ten of Swords, wow. So the Ten of Swords is about a painful, hurtful ending. So some of you could have gone through some sort of painful, hurtful ending here. It could have been a relationship, a job, uh, anything here. But Spirit wants you to know you're almost there at the completion. If it has completed, if it's ending, you're wondering, you know, was this the right thing to do? I think, yes, I think you'll be stronger because of this. You'll learn your lessons. Uh, you'll be more grounded. Um, and you're going to stand tall, tall here like this uh, tree. You know, it's not perfect, but, you know, nobody's perfect. So definitely here, you know, if it was a painful ending or that's just saying yes, whatever you're trying to accomplish, and maybe you're just worn out, you know, if you're, you know, creating something into reality and it's now coming into fruition, coming to that completion of being in fruition, maybe you're just worn out and tired, like dead tired, you know, that could be the Ten of Swords energy also. So however it resonates for you. So we have Dream Time, Creation, so the Queen of Cups, so... Being totally in tune, in touch with what you truly love, you love to do, you want to do, your life purpose, being totally in love with life and what you're doing is that Queen of Cups energy, that caring, nurturing, giving, uh, caring kind of energy. So really loving this uh, energy here and moving forward for some of you. So we have nurturing here. So we have the tower. So the tower can be, you know, something explosive. It can be um, an aha moment. It can be a surprise. It can be a shock. It can be um, a little bit of a shakeup about something. Um, it can be something crumbling down. So whatever it is here for you, if you experience something that was kind of like a shakeup or something crumbled down or something like that, now you need to recover from that. So this could be this nurturing is take time to heal to uh, mend, take time, take care of yourself so you can heal properly. That's what I'm getting with that. So only you know what that is. All right, so what do we have here? So we have protection. Call back your power, cut the cord, soul retrieval. So the nine of wands here, as you see how she's standing on guard, you know, she's got her wands up. She's protecting herself, so that's just <laughs> that just makes total sense here. It's really needing to stand up, protecting yourself, standing guard, you know, maybe being defensive if you have to, you know, saying no when you have to, cutting cords that are no longer serving you that may be toxic, and really standing in your passion, your purpose, your power here with the nine of wands and being strong like this lion here, like a lioness or a lion. If you're male, female watching this, you know. All right, so we have no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So the Wheel of Fortune is all about um, fate, destiny, things going in a better direction, um, things going in your favor, you know, the Wheel of Fate and um, Destiny. 
So I feel like here, there may be something that if you do say no to it, it's something that you're probably meant. Because the Wheel of Fortune only, always brings in things meant to be. It's about things going the way they're meant to be. So if there's something that you said no to and you're wondering, did I do the right thing? I think yes. Because we do have 10 again, which is about completions. So if you did say no to something and you're wondering, ah, gee, I don't know, that was the right thing. Yes, it was. If you are waiting or postponing or pausing or just thinking about saying no, whatever here, those options, Spirit wants you to know it's the right thing to do because things will just go in the right direction. I feel like if you rush in too fast or um, don't take a little pause or a breather or say yes too fast, you see this all this lightning kind of reminds me of the tower here. So I think it's just going to cause a little bit of destruction, a little bit of, you know, thunder and lightning here. So some of you may need to wait, postpone, or just say no. And I think it's going to be the right thing to do. All right, so we have here, you're already doing it. So we got the chariot. Nice. So the chariot's about moving forward victoriously, being well-balanced, um, Success, victory, drive, going forward a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. Being very successful. So you're already doing it. So this is moving forward and um, going for it. And you are doing it. So don't overthink it. Just keep doing what you're doing here with the chariot energy. Because do see success here. Wow. All right. So let's see what we have here. Intuition, Intuitive nudges, the three of wands. So you see, she's like almost holding on to like a globe here. So, you know, the three wants is about patiently waiting, about going off on your journey. And you know, maybe it's not the right time, or maybe you're almost there at this completion. It's almost there, but you just got to wait a little bit longer. So, you know, if your intuition is telling you to wait, as we did have wait over here again. So if your intuition is telling you, you know, maybe I should be a little more patient. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer for the right time. I think that's the right thing to do. So listen to that intuition. All right. So what do we have here? Just ask. So we have the unknown card. And this doesn't come out too often. This uh, deck is the only deck that has the unknown card like this. So this is not knowing uh, what's going to happen, what the future holds. It's just not knowing. So... So if you're not knowing how it's going to go, you're feeling confused, you know, you don't know what the outcome is going to be. Is this the right thing? Is it the wrong thing? I just don't know. I think it's telling you to just ask, ask your spare team, ask, you know, meditate or ask friends, family for advice here, get guidance, just reach out and ask if you're feeling confused and you don't know what to do or if you're on the right path. I think you are, but a part of you is still a little bit leery about the unknown here. So I think, you know, spirit will maybe give you the answers you're looking for if you just kind of pay attention to that. All right, so. And you may, may be a little bit afraid of the unknown, of what's to come. So we have breathe, no taking a breather. So this is a magician. So, you know, the magician manifests new things. So I definitely feel like, you know, with creation over there and the magician here manifesting something new, so definitely here, manifesting your dreams into reality here, you know, working hard on this. That's why you probably have that Ten of Swords being just like dead tired. So again, here with breathe, taking a breather, taking a break, you know, finding a calming space and just relaxing and just taking a minute for yourself. So as you're manifesting and, you know, being very busy, moving forward, especially with the chariot there and the wheel all going in the right direction. Don't forget to breathe, take a breather, relax, take some time for you, as we had over there with nourishing with Gaia. So wow, uh, Taurus, a lot of positive, a lot of positive movement forward as completion nears, uh, birthing of new creations, you know, dreams coming into reality kind of energy. But don't forget to rest, take care of you. Some of you need to um, stand up for yourself and say no. Or maybe even cut cords or cut toxic energy no longer serving you. And, uh, but I see positive things in the future here. Wow, uh, Taurus. So 
hope these some of these resonated for you again take them how, how they resonate for you so best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light